and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be tying four essential knots for sea fishing and so without any further delay let's get straight into the video. For the blood knot with clench you take your tag end and pass it through the eye of the hook and give yourself about three inches to work with. Pinch the two lines together and take turns with the tag end around the main line. So that's one, two, three, four. The number of turns depends really on the thickness of the line. The thinner the line the more turns up to about seven and for thicker lines you can get away with, with a maximum of three. You then take your tag end and through the loop that you made in the first place and you pass it through and this will form a large open loop. Through that large open loop you pass your tag end and draw back against itself. Holding the tag end and the main line together you start to form your knot. And what you would need to do at this point is to lubricate your knots. So the best thing that you can use for that that you've always got with you is some saliva. Once you've lubricated your knot and you start to pull it down it will start to form the shape. You just need to dress your knots and make sure that they are actually forming correctly and then pull down until it's completely tight. And then just finally just dress down your, your knot. So that is the blood knot with clench. The uni knot starts with the tag end of your line pass through the eye of the hook give yourself plenty of line to work with because you're going to be trimming this at the end anyway. Turn it back on itself so there's almost like three parallel lines and when you've turned it back on itself it crosses over the two lines above it. So you end up with two parallel lines and your tag end going across the top. You then through that loop and around the main body of line start to take turns. There's one turn There's two turns and there's three turns. I'm only going to go three turns with this one. And you should end up with three turns around your main line in a loop formed like that. You then start to draw the knot down with your tag end and it should coil, start to coil back on itself. Now you need, very importantly, to lubricate the knot so you don't put any friction into it. Once you've lubricated your knot, continue to form it and pull it down. And now this is a sliding knot, so you help to form it down against the hook eye itself. And just bring this all together, and dress, your, dress your knot until eventually it all tightens up. And you end up with like a beehive shape. And that is the uni knot. One of the specific advantages of the uni knot is the fact that the tag end comes out parallel to the main line and this can help with your bait presentation. And when you tag, cut the tags from this one and cut them nice and short and that is the uni knot. The next knot we're going to look at is the th three turn grinner. So you start with the tag end through the eye of the hook and just like the blood knot right at the very beginning you start to take turns around the main line make sure you've got enough line to work with holding the two at the end between your fingers pinch between your fingers you take one two three turns only and with the tag end pass it through the bottom loop next and you will form a larger loop you then need to go around this three times. One, two, and three. And then start to form your knot. Once you've started to form your knot and it's coming together, lubricate your line. And then start to cinch down and form your knot. Taking care that it shapes, shapes itself correctly 
and doesn't put any abnormal twists. And there you have it. That is a three turn grinner. Like the uni knot, the tag end comes out parallel with the main line. So again, this is another useful knot for bait presentation. And make Trim off the tag end. And that is a three turn grinner. The next knot that I'd like to show you is the Palomar knot. Now the Palomar knot is a very strong knot. And very At first you need to double over your line. You need to double your line and squeeze the ends together giving yourself plenty of line to work with. Squeeze to the point where it doesn't crimp your line but it's small enough to go through the eye of your hook. When you pull that doubled over tag end through the eye of the hook you need enough line that it's longer than the item you're tying. So then it's as simple as an overhand knot. Form an overhand knot, pull it through, and there you have a simple overhand knot tied at the top of the hook with a loop at the end. You then take that loop and pass it over the item that you're tying to. Start to pull down the knot and to tighten everything together. As you can see it's sliding quite easily. As I'm getting closer to the end I'm now going to lubricate the line to make sure there's no adverse friction and continue to cinch down. As it cinches down just make sure that it forms over the top of what you're trying to tie. And there you have it. The beauty of this knot is any chance of slippage is counteracted by the turn around the item that you're tying to. So this is a very strong knot. It retains the majority of its line strength and that is the Palomar knot. Well those are the four knots that I feel are essential for sea fishing whether it's from shore or from a boat. That is all from me for now and I hope to see you again sometime soon. Bye for now.